Hi everyone, this is May, and we're here at ZenkaiCon with Emmy Lowe, known for cyberpunk edge runners, fairy tale, and many more. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm good. Um, so let's jump right into it. You've done a lot of voices in anime. Were you a fan of the genre before you got that part? Yeah, um, I've been watching anime since I was really little, uh, and I, I think like when I was four, and I went to T I went to Taiwan, and I got like a bunch of Yu Yu Hakusho stickers, and I stuck them everywhere, and stuff like that. And even four-year-old me had good taste and kept all the Kurama ones nice and pretty and safe. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's been just a part of my life this whole time. Do you have a favorite now? My favorite right now is probably still Yu Yu Hakusho just because of like how long I've loved it. But I also love stuff like um, Hikaru no Go, Slayers, Kino's Journey, etc. Now, is that what made you want to get into voice acting? Um, actually, what really made me want to get into voice acting, um, what besides the fact that I really liked um, like movie acting and camera and acting and stage, is um, playing Tales of Symphonia. Um, like I was really it found it like amazing that like. Uh, you know, feminine voices could voice boys and like, so like genus and stuff like that. And I just was always like, really, it, that was the first time I was like, I want to do that. Now, what's your easiest and most difficult voices? Um, easiest uh, that I book are probably uh, like boys. Um, like I actually had a director tell me that my natural voice is teenage boy, which was kind of weird, but like, I mean, I'm like, I wish I could play more teenage boys, but, uh, and most difficult is mature women because if I shout, I just sound like a boy. I, I do find in voice acting, most teenage boys are young women. Yeah. Now, do you have voice acting inspirations or role models and have you been able to meet them? So, um, since like I watched a lot of anime from like in Asia when I was younger like visiting um, I mostly look up to Seiyu like the Japanese actors and I absolutely love Megumi Ogata who is the Japanese voice of Kurama and uh, Sailor Uranus and um, yeah, she's incredible I love Minami Takayama who voices Conan in Detective Conan um, as well as Hao in Shaman King and also uh, more, more contemporary would be Aoi Yuki um, she's the English voice, I mean, she's the Japanese voice of Lucy from Edge Runners, but also like Okita from, um, Fate and a million other things that I can't say off the top of my head right now. Cause I'm really tired. <laughs> so being more familiar with the original Japanese versions, does that make it easier for you to match the voice flaps when dubbing? Um, I think so, but also another uh, thing that really helps is just like my music background because then you think of the rhythm in your head. Um, but yeah, I think um, being familiar with the Japanese voices helps me with like matching pitches. You mentioned your music background. What do you do in that field? Uh, so I have a master's degree in classical piano. So I've studied a lot of piano. <laughs> Is there a character from your past that you would particularly want to play again? Ooh, that I would like to play again. Besides all of them. Um, I mean, you know, I'd love to dive back into Lucy because she was just so different from anybody else I'd voiced before. So she'd be really cool, I think. So on the recording aspect, do you often get to work in studio with your fellow voice actors or are you usually filming alone? It's basically always alone. Um, the only time I've worked with other, act well, there's uh, background voices where you get like four of you in a room and then you all just talk at the same time. But like when you're actually like recording a specific character, it's usually by yourself. I've done like a prelay thing before where it's like Western animation, which since there's no flaps to match or something, you can just like work off of each other and the group sessions are a lot of fun. Are there any projects that you have coming up that you can discuss? No. <laughs> Everything is under NDA. <laughs> Unfortunate, but there are things to look forward to. Yeah. Now, anything you'd like to say to your fans before we wrap? Uh, thank you for all of your support. Um, it really means a lot to a potato like me, so I will continue to work hard. Thanks. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have fun and follow your fandom. 
This is Erica Harlicker Stone, and you're watching a Fandom Spotlight. Yay! Make sure to like and subscribe. Do it. Do it right now. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. I don't know why you aren't doing it. Seriously, I'm going to keep saying it until you do it. Ugh. Okay, thank you. Yay! Remember to have fun and follow your fandom. Bye!